What's up guys, this is Waleed and today's problem is the hydraulic lift. Okay, so I drew the kind of hydraulic and there's oil in it and there's a smaller section size and a bigger section size area wise. Um, so in the first question, what is what mass must be placed on small piston to support a car of a mass of 10 to the power 3 kilograms at equal fluid level? Okay, so at equal fluid level, that means the pressure at these points are the same. So going from there, so P1 is going to be equal to P2. Okay, so P1 is equal to force 1 divided by the area 1 equal to force 2 divided by area 2. And from there we go that the force 1 is going to be m1g divided by a1 is going to be equal to m2g divided by a2. You can cancel the g's out. So m1 was... Actually, we're finding m1. We need to find m2. So m2 is 10 to the power 3 divided by point... point zero five two is going to be equal to m1 divided by point zero zero one meters and from there m1 was equal to what did i get for this guy hydraulic lift i got 19.23 3 kilograms. Now with the lift and balance with equal fluid level, a person of a mass of 60 kilograms gets into the car. Was the equilibrium high difference in the fluid level in the piston? Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it over here. So what we're gonna do is the when the person gets into the car, the pressure is gonna increase on the right side. So that means there is a fluid level of the oil is going to increase to make it the same as the person. Okay. So we need to find the pressure due to the person, and we're going to make it equal to the pressure due to the increase of oil. Okay. So pressure due to the person is going to be equal to the force of the person divided by the area a2 because he went in the car and this and this guy in here right there Let's try him. Hi. Stupid. anyway so the force is going to be just m person g which is equal to my guy was 60 kilos 9.81 divided by a2, A2 is point zero five two, and for this guy I got one one three one nine Pascal due to the person. Okay, so now this let's find the pressure. Pressure not density. The pressure due the oil that's going to increase. So this is going to equal to. Force from the oil divided by the area, which is A1 in this case. So the same thing. Force is going to be mass times G. Okay. And if you go to mass, mass is the same as density times volume. Okay. And volume is just height times area. Okay, so let's plug in everything in here. So this is A1, so this is going to equal to the mass, the density, density which is 710. Okay, 
and the volume, the volume is height, so this is what we're trying to find, which is h times a1 times g, and then a1 can cancel, and the g is just 9.81, okay? So now let's just put in the other equation right there. So 7110 times 9.81 times h times h is going to equal to the pressure I got from here, this guy, which is equal to 11319PA. Let's go. Cool. So H is equal to 1.625 meters. Hope it makes sense, guys. So number three, how much did the height of the car drop when the person got into the car? Okay. So volume of the... <laughs> let me write it down. Volume of the... oil displaced from this guy in here so like let's say this kind of oil got displaced okay so this oil went up how much it went down is the same volume the same volume from here is going to go down from here okay so let's say and we'll like this much went down, this much went down. So the volume of this is going to equal the volume of that. Cool. So 1.625 is the height from here. So let me write it in a different way first before we go into that. So volume of 1 displaced is going to equal to volume of 2 displaced. Okay, so the volume of 1, which is on the, this area, is going to be 1.625, which is the height we got from here, the height that went up, times the area, which is 0 0.001. Cool. It's going to equal to the, the, um, the height we're looking for, how much it went down. So let's call it height. Um, Height the large piston or height person times 0 0.052. Okay. And for this guy H, I got 0 0.03125 meters. All right. Hope this helped, guys. If you have any question, let me know. Good luck.